you happy for me? Aren't you? Like, look at, look at how perfectly shaped my head is. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, today I was going to do a video about RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars, but I'm actually going to tell you guys about that. Since um, a video I made recently, a lot of you have been asking me, am I going to do my RuPaul's Drag Race All Star reviews? Well, you're in luck. I am. After episode two airs tomorrow, the up and coming Wednesday, and every Wednesday after that, I will review the episode the day before the new one comes out. So you guys will know my views and how everything went down. I will say this, that twist, holy shit. Like people's friendships are going to come into play. They're going to rip each other the fuck apart. Like I'm so fucking excited for this season. It's new. It's fresh. Now, I want to know what's going to happen in the event that someone's um, considered being eliminated and the judges don't agree with that. Like, are they going to overrule it? Like, are they going to change it? Like, what's going to go on? So, I can't wait to see what the rest of the season is going to look like. My money is on Tatiana because she is fucking slaying it. Like, season two who? What? Like, she's still the shit. She's still a bad bitch. She's still a good. I loved her Aaliyah-inspired outfit at the VMAs over the weekend. I thought she looked amazing. Um, I'm surprised the Alaska Talks. Alaska Talks. Yeah, they, like, aren't as close as they all used to be. And I would love to see if they're going to elaborate on that later in the season. I think Roxy looks fucking amazing. Um, I don't know what the hell Fifi was thinking. Singing a cappella. Hold a note before you make those kind of decisions. Um, I'm not surprised that Coco Montrese went home. I think she deserved to go home because what was her makeup doing? Like, one season you were orange, and we made jokes. And now this season, your ass shit? Like, it didn't make sense. But anyway, um, what I was going to mention today, this video is going to be kind of short, was the fact that I shaved my head. I know there's going to be like... A lot of fucking questions. I know when my mom watches this video, she's gonna be like, why the fuck you got a sweater on? Because I know your room is hot as fuck, and you got these lights beaming down on you. Well, I don't think I wore this sweater yet in a video, and it's one of my favorites. I got it from Target. I wear a lot of clothes from Target, and I'm not ashamed. But, okay, so yesterday, my mom had texted me and said, be ready when I get off of work so we can go get your haircut. And for a few weeks, for a while... You know, on my last birthday, when I turned 24, I was like, you know, what am I going to do with my hair this time? Y'all remember it was blonde in certain places and black because it was growing out and I was growing out the sides and I was doing that whole bit and my hair got really long on the sides and I was just like, do I feel like getting it flat ironed and pressed and washed and this and that? Do I feel like another weave? Do I feel like... Right? Do I feel like anything? And I didn't. I didn't feel like sitting in a chair, waiting on a hairstylist to show up on time. I didn't feel like dealing with people who stopped doing your hair just to eat food. Like, I didn't feel like the whole hassle and all this other extra shit that comes with sitting in a salon. So, I told my mom I wanted to make the conscious decision to shave my hair off. It was funny when I walked into the barber shop, this barber shop that I frequent here in San Diego, it's fucking amazing. Um, the guys are sweet. It's not one of those barber shops where you have to worry about misogyny going on. Like that's what I love about it the most. But um my barber was like, nah. For real? You can't get for real? And I was like, yeah, shit, all of it off. Amber Rose short, like getting my shit down. We laughed, we joked, I got my head shaved, he had a this dope ass line and some orange in it, which is temporary, which is something I'm gonna do with my now shaved head. I'm gonna buy a shit ton of spray, temporary colors, and every week when I do a video or I'm just out and about, my head will be a different color because I feel like there's so many endless possibilities with this. And the one thing I was worried about the most when like that bit, when a big chunk of hair was shaved off my head was please Jesus Christ. Don't let me have one of those weird shaved heads where it's low-key pointy at the top, and it's not. It's flat 
all around. It's so beautifully fucking shaped. Like, I'm freaking out. Like, I love it. No, I didn't cry while getting my head shaved because I'm not one of those people that goes, I'm gonna shave my head and then I'm also gonna cry while it's happening. What the fuck was the point of you doing it if you gonna cry about it? Like, you made the conscious effort to shave your head. Don't cry about it. Like, if Millie Bobby Brown, who's 12, can get her head shaved and not shed a single fucking tear at 12, I'm gonna need you bitches to shut it down. Okay? Thank you. But, shave my whole head. The only thing I have to worry about is that I had eczema growing up and a lot of it was in my hair and on my skin and sometimes I get a lot, a lot of fucking danger. So, I'm still gonna shampoo, scrub shit out of it so, like, I'm not brushing it and just fucking flakes are flying at people's faces. I went to the beauty store the other day and I bought, well yesterday, and I bought this brush. It's double sided. The bristle, bristles are thicker on one side than they are on the other side. This is what I will use for my head all the time. What I love the most about having no hair is the fact that my head does not itch. I don't feel the need to scratch my head when I put on shirts and necklaces. It's like I have to get used to that. Nothing is there. Nothing is there. Like, it's so fucking dope to me. Like, this whole bald head shit is like, I mean, I feel exhilarated. I feel so fucking cool. Like, I was never, when my mother raised me, was never so deeply attached to my hair that I let it define who I was. I've worn weaves, I've worn wigs, I've had box braids, I even thought about getting faux dreads at one point in time in my life. I've done it all to my hair. I used to get perms, I haven't had a perm since I was 21, I'm 24 now, and even when I do decide to grow my hair out, which will be in five years, because I plan to keep a bald head until I'm 30, um, because I'll be 25 this year, that's why I said five years, guys. I don't need the comments being like, don't you mean six? No. But, um, yeah, I plan to be bald for a while and just spray paint it different colors and be fun with it, because your hair does not define who you are as a person. The type of person you are defines who you are as a person. And I feel like any person who feels that their hair like makes them ugly or they feel like it's bad, it's just hair. You're what matter. You're the person who really matters. And if people are judging you by your shit, fuck them. And I know as a black woman we have a lot of problems and a lot of hills to climb and valleys to discover when it comes to our hair and how certain jobs and different policies don't even let us be naturally us. I know that and I completely understand that and I know I will probably get some shit from my bald head but I'm so fucking happy right now that nobody could say anything to me to make me not love me and my head on how great it is. So no also no this isn't like a big chop deal like no, I got bald now. Like, I just, I don't want hair anymore. I'm good. So, it wasn't like a, let me start from scratch. No. I really don't have no hair, y'all. And I'm out here chilling. But I will say this. This breeze was not what I was prepared for. Like, your whole head gets hit with wind. And it's like, I've never felt these kind of breezes before in my life. But, it is, it's an experience that I'm loving. And I hope you all are just cracking up and loving Ballhead Tyler. I want to thank my mom for me being a C-section baby. That's why my shit is so beautifully round. Um, I want to thank my friends who support my hair. I think it's cool. Um, to everybody who's watching, have long hair, short hair, no hair, colored hair. Just, just be who you want to be and love who you are within and if no one's told you that you're awesome and that they love you i think you're awesome and i love you so see you guys on face mask friday a face mask is gonna look really weird with no hair ah, well <laughs>